Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, <clears throat> uh, first of all, I want to thank, uh, want to say thank you to Rest a While, y'all, um, for that edifying comment that you left about um, making sure that you wear your armor every day, because that is something that I've been slacking on. And um, thank you to, um, you know, Boldly and Lena. All of those who are out there propagating the truth and worshiping the Lord in spirit and truth. Um, thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for your edifying comments. And even those, I know that there's people out there that, that are, um, you know, the Lord's people that don't have YouTube channels and, and you, you edify, um, you edify us, you know, with your comments or, your thumbs up, uh, that's, that's awesome too, thank you very much, and I appreciate that, uh, just keep worshiping the Lord in truth and spirit, and, um, you know, I, I, what I wanted to say was, you guys, we know that we're in the end times, and, um, and, uh, you know, we don't, if you read Matthew 24, most of these things, have um, already, or a lot of these things have taken place, um, except for, you know, being handed over, uh, at least in this country, you know, we haven't experienced these, uh, all of this stuff being fulfilled, being handed over, being tortured, put to death, etc., etc., um, the sun going dark, the moon not giving her light, um, and, and these are really serious, like, cataclysmic, you know, world-changing events that are going to be, you know, as, as Christian, Bible-believing, true Christians, followers of Jesus Christ, we know that these things are coming, but, um, yeah, what, what I wanted to say was, uh, you know, we don't, we, we know that the Lord is, um, He's going to be you know, gathering us together, you know, or, or revealing himself, like, some sort of event like that is going to happen, and you guys, it's going to be a very big deal, okay, people say that they want to see the Lord right now, but, um, everything that we're going through right now, you guys, is what is helping us to be able to approach him in confidence, it's not a joke when you see the Lord, you guys, trust me, and, um, so, uh, you know, just, just follow the Lord, you know, and, and the most important thing that you guys can do, the most important thing that God and the Lord will tell you guys, I can assure you, is that, um, to love one another, love God with all your being, and love your neighbor, you know, and, um, and really work on that, show acts of kindness, put, put, a uh, currency in your spiritual bank, you know, you're saved for works, we're not saved by works, okay, when, when Christ came, he put the end to the law of being, the law being our righteousness, he is our righteousness, but we're saved for works, and we're commanded to keep the commandments, if we, if, if Jesus is our Lord and Savior and Messiah, then we will let his word lord over us. So, um, you know, do good deeds, do good works, and keep on putting money current. That's how I, par that's like a little parallel, how, or a, a uh, like an example of how I, I put it. Every time you do those good deeds and good works, you guys, and, and you bless people through your prayers, or you do acts of kindness and acts of love, it, um, it goes and it, it all gets written down, you guys, and you'll reap what you've sown. What you get out of your, um, you know, what you reap is what you've put in it. So, um, you know, do your best. Be your best. Be the best. Your, your, our goal should be to be the best person that we can be. Because Jesus has called us, and, and we are at, he is holding us at a very... Um, you know, we were at a higher standard, so, um, 
I love you guys. Stay in your word. God bless. And uh, I'm praying for all of you guys.